Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here. Welcome back to today's video. I thank you guys first of all for your viewership and support. Really appreciate it. Today, let's talk about some of the tools that pros use. What if I told you that there was a tool that all these pros and companies use to find their products and source their products? What if you had visibility on products that Nike brings or Adidas brings or what have you? that's the tool i'm going to show you guys it's an amazing tool and once you get bigger with amazon fba and your competition is no longer the um small amazon fba sellers or new starters your competition is much bigger you're now competing with actual companies within that region why not use a tool that actually shows you visibility on what kind of products are popular why we want to know what nike is bringing or why do we want to know what another competitor is bringing it shows us demand. It shows us demand and it shows us supply. It shows us who they're using to bring their products. It shows us visibility on their shippers. It shows us visibility on the carriers. It shows us visibility on who does their customs brokerage. It shows the visibility on the dimensions and weight and everything. So this stuff is absolutely crucial when you're trying to be competitive in the market. You know what is coming in and you know what is popular and in demand. And then from there, you can take it up a notch and start using Jungle Scout or uh, the Helium 10 extension that I showed you guys, which is absolutely free and crazy. So uh, that's what you do. You got to start somewhere. You got to figure out what's a popular product. Let's say we're going to look into us or canada see what that company a competitor that you have in mind that you want to bring products that are like them right so you want to know where they're bringing their products and best of all you have visibility on their suppliers imagine you contact the supplier that actually produces or manufactures products for nike or adidas right you know you're going to get quality stuff so that's what we're here to do today so without further ado let's get right into it now, the product or the uh, now the website that I'm going to show you guys is called Import Genius. OK, we're going to go to importgenius.com. This website gives us visibility on all ocean shipments coming into U.S. ports and docking there. Now, the final destination could be Canada, could be anywhere in the United States. But as long as it touches a U.S. port, it has to get recorded. And the greatest thing about this is that this data is available for us unless the consignee actually requests to hide the data. Now, a lot of companies don't know about these websites and they don't know that the rules are that the government shares everything. Now, on the Canadian side, if they're coming directly into Canada, you're not going to have visibility because the rules are a little bit more strict here. But on the U.S. side, you have visibility on everything. OK, so this is the website. So Import Genius, you will see the logo. It's like a little bulb. And it's a little bit expensive so that's why if you guys want me to do a quick search for you guys or something like that because i'm subscribed to this website by all means let me know drop it in the comments below and i'm gonna search whatever product or company you guys want to know about and i'm gonna send you the data in an excel file okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign in all right just like any other cloud-based system Give it one second. Now, it's a very simple tool to use. Have is basically giving me about um, 80 searches a day. So 80 names I can search in a, any given day. And then it resets for the next day. Now, the download wise, like I'm limited to 5000 downloads per Excel file, but I'm not limited to how many downloads I do. Like, let's say if I want to do 50,000 over the course of like next 10 days, I'm allowed to do so. So very simple. Now, the part that I want to show you guys now, there are different uh, tools with this visual mapping and all that. But the part that I'm subscribed or is the import data, right? You can also look at export data. So this is things going out of, let's say, United States to um, Europe or what have you. But we can look at import data because most of the ship and most of the stuff that is um, consumed in the United States or in the North American continent is actually manufactured overseas in China or in the Eastern Hemisphere. So we're going to look into imports data. All right. Now, the fields here, I want to quickly explain each one. So you have a few fields. So product, you can search by a specific product if you have in mind uh, or what have you. Consignee is the importer. So if you have a company in mind like Nike, Adidas or uh, Lululemon, let's say that's big in Canada, anything like that, right? You can actually search the importer there. You can actually type in the name and then it'll show you all the activity, shipments activity that they bring in through US ports. 
they show you the address so you can actually search by address if you want to know what shipments let's say are coming in from China and um, they are coming in let's say to a specific city um, let's say San Francisco right you can actually target it that specific guys that's the beauty about this product so you don't have to specifically start with a company you can say I want to see all shipments of t-shirts coming in into San Francisco and it'll show you all the competitors and all the suppliers that provide to those uh, importers okay shipper is your supplier so it will show you the actual address and name of the supplier that manufactures these products for these big companies guys notify party and address so notify party is your customs broker when when a product car lands in the u.s soil or canadian soil it has to be customs cleared that's when a party uh, a company like livingston in canada shanker you guys probably have heard of um uh, of these ones uh, which are some of the biggest ones in canada they're the ones that actually clear the goods and, uh, and do the paperwork the customs paperwork uh, to make sure the goods arrive here and get cleared and come inside uh, the importers warehouse so that's what it is you can also search it by specific use port that you have in mind foreign port foreign port is basically where the shipment was loaded so let's say if you want to know if shipments were loaded at a hong kong port right you want to know what's coming out of hong kong you have visibility on that you can get really broad with this or you can get really targeted with this i'm going to show you guys a really targeted and also a really broad example so you guys can see what's happening bill of lading now if you have bill of lading information i usually don't play with that place of receipt where the shipment was received carrier code i don't usually worry about that because that information is a little bit too detailed for our purposes vessel name contain number country of origin guys that's absolutely important now if you want to see shipments coming from india right you can put country of origin india and then what the where the importer address is let's say in canada or us or a specific city and it will show you guys shipments for that so uh, the rest is just like uh, uh shipment specific the marks and numbers which are like numbers and stuff like that that are associated with containers containers and vessels or steamship lines so we're not going to worry about that so the data range the date range that i get is two years worth of data but i always search a 12 month period just for the sake of like knowing exactly how much they bring in over an annual period now you can do a monthly uh, search but i like to keep it a little bit longer so i can have more visibility on their activity so that's what we're gonna do so let's say we want to know that shipments coming out of china country of origin is china we're gonna put in and we can add multiple filters guys that's the beauty about this and we want the consignee address which is the importer to be let's do san francisco for the fun of it cisco okay san francisco there we go just want to make sure i spell that right right and then we're going to choose our date range so we're going to do one year so 2018 uh, 16th of september 2018 to 16th of september 2019 all right and then we're just gonna hit search so you have page one of 621 pages this search returns 62,696 results so that's how many shipments were done from china to san francisco over the past 12 months now think about that guys how crazy that is now the kind of information you get is basically the filters that i showed you guys and then more so you got the shipper, you got the arrival date, you got the gross weight. Um, you actually have product description, which is the first one right here. So you can see what kind of stuff was brought in, right? And all kinds of information. So you'll see, let me see, I wanna show you guys if the notify party information is available. So you see guys, Apex, Apex Maritime actually did these shipments. So you can have visibility on all that, all right? So let's do a little bit of a different search. Let's say we want to know what Nike brings in, okay? From, let's say we're going to do country of origin, China. We want to know what Nike brings in from China. So we're going to say consignee. Instead of consignee address, we're going to say consignee is going to be Nike. All right? There it is, guys. See, consignee is Nike Canada Corp. So it's showing Canadian shipments and also U.S. shipments. They've brought in 790 shipments over the past year into United through United States ports. 
and some came to Canada and they show you what exactly they brought in, how many containers, you got container information, you got all kinds of information. And this is another part that I wanted to show you guys. Let's go a little bit to the middle. Where's our supplier? Yeah, let's go to, oh, there, there. I missed it right here, guys. Right beside the consignee, you guys see there is shipper. So the shipper is the supplier. So Eagle Nice Development, that's a supplier in China. And you actually have address of theirs on this sheet. And you can actually extract this file as an Excel file and uh, even filter further if you wanted to. So let me show you guys. So what you do is you click on export email report. So you're going to say, we're going to title this Nike. We're going to say all results. Okay. You can do up to 100 if you want. So for this purpose, I'm just going to do up to 100. So it's not a big file. And we're going to say generate report. Okay, it's gonna do its thing for a minute. There it is. And then you say download or email this file. So we're gonna say download, download as an XLS. And we can just open the file once it's ready. Open. And let me show you guys. Excel, okay. Okay, there it is, guys. All right, so you see how all this information is now transferred into an excel file and you can actually edit it or filter it what have you it's all in here so that's the beauty of this product guys it gives you visibility on these big importers and companies information that you can actually use to your advantage get supplier information you don't have to just go through alibaba you can find your own find their phone numbers contact them and see if they can produce the product for you now, uh, the other broad search that I wanted to show you guys is basically by product. You want to know if a certain product, how much of it comes into Canada or USA or what have you. So we're going to say product. We're going to search product and we're going to say cell phone case. And we're going to say that the country of export or origin, as they call it, is China. And let's see what comes up because we want to know what suppliers are sending this kind of specific product into Canada, which is cell phone cases, and what companies are actually buying that product. So we have consignee information and we also have supplier information. So let's take a look and see what this brings us to. All right, it's still processing, give it a minute, or a few seconds should do. The internet is a bit slow. There it is, guys. So we got about 164 shipments on record that bring in cell phone protector cases to Canada and you have shipper information. So if you wanna bring in um, cell phone cases, these are the suppliers you'll be contacting. And who are the consignees? These are the consignees. And you also have addresses and everything uh, when you scroll to the right. And you can actually, again, extract this in the Excel file to make it easier for you guys to work with. That's why we use Import Genius, guys. And if you guys have a specific request, send me your request. I'll be happy to run an Excel file for you guys and send it to you by email. And that's it. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Next video, we're going to do Helium 10. I want to show you guys the full suite of products that is available with Helium 10. Now, we went over the Chrome extension, which is a free version of Helium 10, but limited access to certain tools. But we're going to get into more details. And then after that, uh, I'm, I'm also going to do another video on the Chrome extension when you're actually going inside the listing and what other tools are available. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.